Konnichiwa and welcome to Japan, the land of the rising sun. And the sun has just risen, it's about 6am here in Tokyo. And I have to meet Tilly, my lovely girlfriend, in Osaka, a city in the south, in six days time. And I thought, what better way to get there, what better way to introduce me to Japan than to hitchhike there. It's about 500 kilometers. I've got five days to do it. I'm gonna try and knock out 350 of them today. How hard can it be, right? First thing I need to do, get out of Tokyo and onto the highway. In order to do that, I gotta get a train. I've never used the uh, train here before, so this should be interesting. All your information will be displayed Purchase in the a station. ticket. Search by station name. For money or a card. I've made it to a Japanese town which I've already forgotten the name of uh, but before I start trying to hitchhike I need some food so if I get a lift it's gonna take four hours Konnichiwa. Johnny. Two dollars for this sushi. From a family mart, which is basically a corner shop, convenience store. I swear to God, people would pay like twenty dollars for this in London. I'm gonna eat all this and then head to the highway. All right, I've made it to the highway. I'm in a service station, which I think is obviously the only place where people are gonna stop on the motorway. So I'm just gonna wait at the exit. We haven't got a little sign. I feel like they're way more likely to pull over if your sign is A in Japanese and B a sign. <laughs> um, I'm just calling off because I'm so hot and sweaty from the walk. I don't wanna look too disheveled. And then yeah, just gonna go for it. I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. I haven't done this for a good few months. But I think it's good to get out of your comfort zone, face rejection. People are gonna probably look at me like I'm insane for 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe an hour, who knows. And eventually someone will pick me up. I've got my sign. I got a good spot to stand. Let's do this. This is already cracking me up. Japanese people are so polite. They're all like, oh, I'm sorry. They're like, apologizing out the window. This is definitely a good decision. It's character building. As soon as you get like five or 10 rejections, you're like, fuck it. You become immune to it. And it's just like, whatever it takes, you know, someone will uh, take pity on this silly foreigner eventually. I waited for about 20 minutes in the station and then this very kind Japanese family. Yay! Bye. <laughs> uh, they picked me up and they are going past Nagoya. So they're going to take me all the way there. They give me some lovely green tea. And yeah, it's just good vibes, good vibes in here. Konnichiwa! They have a very cute and shy child. Oh! You can see it? A little, little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Fuji is hiding. Um, but yeah, I'm the newest member of this Japanese family now. Good times. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's lunchtime now. And what 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 is this? S sashimi? Uh, sashimi. Yes. Maguro sashimi. Yes. Egg. Egg. Uh, 
ネギトロネギトロうんあーマグロクラッシュクラッシュあ、OK And this is like a miso? Miso soup Miso, yes Origato Thank you so much I honestly can't get over how nice this family are So before we stopped here they asked me if it was okay if we stopped here and I'm like of course it's okay you've given me a lift in your car um their insanely cute daughter who has a matching outfit with her mum um was getting restless wanted some lunch yeah they're just so nice this is the kind of weird random thing that only happens when you hitchhike and it's like put yourself out there it's like I was insanely jet like I've only been in Japan less than 48 hours right now in england it's like seven in the morning and i'm kind of out of it and this is just like the weirdest but most wonderful experience ever also how nice is the scenery we've just been driving through so many mountains so many tunnels and all of the mountains are so so green it's incredible incredible Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. And hopefully I will see you next weekend, if not in two weeks. We will work something out. I will message you. Thank you so much. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Today has been insanely wholesome. That family was so nice. I can't even. They bought me lunch. They、uh, offered me to stay at their house before they realized I had a booking here and then took me all the way to my hotel, which is in a really confusing place to find. They must have gone through like four tolls doing U turns on the motorway to get me here. Yeah, they were just so, so nice. I can't even believe it. And like, you, the kind of people you just never expect to pick up a random hitchhiker. It's been a very, very long day. I've been up since 2 a.m., insanely jet lagged. I've made plans to see them again. They live near the Suzuka Circuit, which is like a Grand Prix track past Nagoya. And now I think me and Tilly are going for dinner with them and their entire extended family. Even though they barely speak any English, the dad spoke no English. I was speaking to him on Google Translate. The mum spoke a little bit of English. Their daughter was also insanely cute and they kept calling me Eddie Sam. And yeah, I eventually became her elder brother for the day. It was just very, very surreal. Japan, Japanese people are just so kind and polite. 350 kilometers, nailed it, easy. 150k to go. I'm in Nagoya. Like I said, tonight, two more nights after that, so maybe we'll do some exploring of Nagoya before the hitchhiking journey continues. I'm gonna hit the hay. Peace out. Good morning, and welcome back to Japan. It's been two days since my hitchhiking adventure with the most legendary Japanese family of all time. Yesterday, I just went for a run, slept. Just was doing jet laggy things, and today I've come into Nagoya to have a little explore. And our first stop is that Atsuta Shrine. Let's go check it out. So the Atsuta Shrine is the most important Shinto shrine in all of Japan and was established in the first century AD. Throw the coin in, bow twice, clap twice, bow again, out. 
Incredible. I feel almost hypnotized. It reminds me of the Gangarati in India, and I'm pretty sure those were two geisha at the front, which is basically just means art performer in Japan. The culture here is just so. I don't know, the tradition is so ingrained in everyone. It's like you just don't get this in Europe or England. It's, it's really special. these hanging wooden plaques are called ima which are basically shinto wishes that you write and then hang up in the hope that they'll be granted by the deities Wow, what an amazing place. My first shrine experience in Japan. Um, and I don't think those kind of performances that you saw are on every day. I think it's because it's Sunday today. That special day, the busiest day of the week at the shrines. I'm um, head to the port now. Try and find some food. Maybe do something else. We'll see what happens. I've been walking for at least an hour. Um, pretty knackered to be honest, but this, as you can probably tell, is the biggest and busiest port in Japan. Um, and Toyota, this is where they ship most of their cars out of Japan. Toyota was actually founded and based just outside Nagoya. And yeah, it's absolutely massive. And I'm, like I said, I've been walking for an hour and it's just factories, industrial buildings, shipping yards, ports, everywhere. And you probably can't see over there it's like thousands of cars just stacked up on each other probably toyotas all right i wanted to find some food at a restaurant but surprise surprise in this poor industrial area there's not a restaurant in sight so let's use a Japanese vending machine for the very first time. How cool are these Japanese coins, by the way? They have holes in them. So let's just chuck... 100. 150. And then I just press a button. What do I want? Water, um... Uh, cider. I think I'm good on that front. Let's go for the... Lemon. Wow, here we go. Got my change. And yeah, on that note, uh, I'm gonna head home. It's probably gonna eat dinner at 7 Eleven again, get some of that good sushi. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for the continuation of our hitchhiking journey where I'm aiming to get to the final destination of Osaka. Peace out. <laughs>